So there's actually several different ways you can go about creating an organizing playlist. I'll show you a couple of them here on my computer. And then if I remember, I'll do an edit on my phone where I show you how to do playlists on your phone because it's a little bit different and you can do it on both phone and computer. Uh, but so just for example, right here, uh, if I just clicked into this snowboarding video, for example, right here under the video, right next to the likes and dislikes, click this little button. And then you can see I've already got some playlists right here. I could just add this video to this playlist. If I wanted to create a new playlist, I could just click create new playlist, give it a name, and then you can set it to whether you want it to be private, public, or unlisted. Uh, in this case, I'll just leave it private. We'll hit create. And then that has just created a new playlist for me with this video in that playlist. So that's just one really quick way to create playlists and add videos to those playlists. Now, if you want to find where all your playlists are at, uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. Honestly, there's a couple ways to do everything I'm gonna say here, but um, so just here in the left column, if you click this show more button, that'll show you a list of all the different playlists that you have. You can also go to your profile icon right here and click on your channel and this is where I'll show you some more good stuff Real in quick, here. If I may. <laughs> and my, my literal main video is trying to t direct people to my playlist, which I'll talk a little bit more about. But from right here, you can click on the playlist tab and see all of your playlist. You can also click on customize channel right here. So right here, you can click on add section and you can add any of these to show up on your channel homepage. In my case, I've just chosen all of my different playlists. And I, the way I do that is just by choosing single playlist, selecting the playlist from here, and then it just adds right onto there. And then you can just simply drag these around and place them wherever you want. So that's how I add my playlists onto my homepage. But you can also obviously add all of these other things onto your homepage as well. Now, if we look at my homepage again, and if we go into this playlist section, so we can see right here, here's my new name playlist that I just created. But if I click into, uh, sure, let's say this music marketing one, view full playlist. Now from in here, this is where I can make edits to my playlist. So if I wanna change where the videos are placed in the playlist. If I want to sort the playlist by the date videos were added or the videos with the most views, which would be the most popular ones, I can do all that right there. Then also description, which I should add a description for this video because your playlist title and your playlist description are searchable. So like you wanna use search engine optimization, keywords, phrases that make sense. So potentially your videos and playlists can pop up when people are searching for those things. Again, right here, you can change if it's public, unlisted, or private. And then if you click these three dots is where you can add videos. You could add all the videos to another playlist. You could add collaborators, and then you also have playlist settings and the ability to delete the playlist if you want. So to add a video, real simple, just click that. And then you can throw in the URL, or you can search it. You can throw in the URL, or you can grab one of your own YouTube videos super simple and straightforward. And then right here, if you click the share button is where you can get the link for your playlist if you want to link to it or share it out to anywhere. Also, when you're uploading your videos, you can choose to write inside the upload screen, add them to any existing playlist, and you can also create a new playlist right there inside that screen as well. And then regarding mobile, just inside the YouTube app, if you click the three dots on any video, save to playlist, you can add to playlist, or you can also create a new one right there on the spot as well. You can also go to the top right at your and click to your channel. And then you can also click to the playlist tab from here. And then you can see your playlist and click into your playlist and then edit them from here. You can edit their name, you can edit the order, you can edit the privacy, you can delete it from right here if you want, all that good stuff. And now jumping into the YouTube Studio app, if you click your for your menu and then click on playlists, you'll see all your playlists are right here. And then you can click into your playlist. You can edit the name and privacy of the playlist if you just click the uh, little pencil icon. And then if you click the YouTube icon far right, it'll take you into your playlist inside the YouTube app where we were just at, where you can edit inside of the playlist itself. And one other thing I noticed recently that's super cool is you can actually see how many views each playlist has gotten. Not, not each video itself inside the playlist, but the playlist as a whole, how many views has it gotten? So if I click into my Facebook ads playlist right here, you'll see that it's gotten 17,938 views. If I click into my YouTube growth and monetization playlist right here, you'll see it's a less popular playlist with only about 2,300 views. So I think that's it as far as setting up and organizing playlists on your YouTube channel. If I miss anything or if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Make sure and check out my YouTube growth playlist because there's lots of tutorials if that's, you know, if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, check out my YouTube growth playlist. Uh, there's also lots of videos on 
not just how to grow your YouTube channel, but grow the money that you make from your YouTube channel. So how to build different income streams off your YouTube channel. So check that out.